Imagine this, it's a day like any other, and suddenly, bam, you're kidnapped. Just three hours ago, your life took a dark twist. A shadowy figure with sinister intent has snatched you away to serve a twisted purpose, an experiment on the human limits. Now picture this, before just five minutes have ticked by, your captor fixes a strange cold machine onto your head. Its sole purpose? To rob you of one of your most natural, life-sustaining actions, blinking. With that device in place, your eyelids become prisoners locked in place. At the very moment the timer starts, zero seconds, you realize something is terribly off. Your eyes, once free to flutter and refresh, are now held hostage. Even as your body's reflexes clamor for relief, desperate to blink, the machine holds firm, leaving you with a growing, gnawing fear. After just three seconds, that familiar reflex fizzles out against the unyielding metal grip. And by five seconds, panic sets in. You're aware, shaken and terrified, that you can't blink. The natural act that shields your eyes from the harsh world is gone. As the seconds turn to minutes, the unthinkable happens. By 20 seconds, the moisture that once lovingly bathed your eyes begins to evaporate. Your eyes, growing parched, start to feel the sting of moderate pain. And just 20 seconds in, you notice the first alarming sign. Your eyes take on a red hue as blood slowly accumulates, a silent warning of the danger within. One minute in, the dryness becomes undeniable. The pain intensifies, a sharp reminder of what you're losing. Desperation drives you to tears, each drop a futile attempt to lubricate your suffering eyes. For a normal person, this is as far as they can go without an involuntary blink, but you are trapped in this nightmare. Two minutes in, your vision begins to blur. Shadows and shapes start to lose definition, as if your very perception of the world is dissolving before your eyes. And by five minutes, the redness deepens, your eyes now a canvas of accumulated blood, an eerie sign of your unraveling condition. As time drags on to 10 minutes, imagine an unwelcome intruder, a tiny insect, daring to land on your vulnerable eye where you can't blink it away. By 20 minutes, all moisture has abandoned your eyes, leaving them completely dry and the pain nearly unbearable. At the 25 minute mark, your eyes turn inflamed, the epithelium becoming cloudy, a silent signal of impending doom. One hour in, even a sneeze, an act that should be reflexive, is rendered powerless by the machine's unyielding grip. Now consider this. An actor once set an unofficial world record by not blinking for one hour, 17 minutes, and three seconds. But your ordeal is only beginning. By the two-hour mark, the conjunctiva, the vital shield of your eyeball, is damaged, making your eyes ripe for infections. And after three hours, the cornea starts to suffer, a sign of irreversible harm. Four hours in, your vision becomes a mosaic of blurred images, a stark reminder of what you're slowly losing. At six hours, dust and tiny particles cling to your eyes and black dots dance in your vision, a haunting reminder of your captivity. 12 hours in, your very eye seems to transform, the pupil widening into a void that reflects the horror of your situation. By 16 hours, exhaustion sets in. You're desperate for sleep, yet your eyes, stubbornly open, deny you that solace. One day in, infections take root, and by the second day, your body's fatigue forces you into sleep, even as your eyes remain open in a trance-like state. Two days in, double vision blurs your world further, and by the third day, hallucinations creep in, figures and shapes that aren't really there, yet seem all too real. Four days on, the pain begins to fade, a chilling numbness overtaking the agony, while on the fifth day, the infections threaten to steal your sight entirely. And finally, after 10 agonizing days, the inevitable conclusion, your eyes ravaged and infected beyond repair, succumb to total blindness. So here's the question, how long would you last without blinking? 